Good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me today with Stamping with Loretta. I'd like to show you two projects that I've been working on. The first is a lace roll. Um, mine is um, inspired by Candace Scarborough here on YouTube. She's Candace Scarborough and she's also a very dear friend of mine. And she sent me a lace roll and I decided that I wanted to try it for myself. Um, she sent me some antique spools which some of you know if you watched uh, the, her video as well as my video and um, mine is uh, it is not double sided but it is two layers of lace um, two different designs so that um, I can easily tie it up um, here is one end it's got a cute little bottle cap there And on the other end is a transparency that um, someone had given me. It was just printed off their computer. And I backed it with a piece of um, patterned um, decorative paper. And then I used glossy accents to both attach it as well as cover it so that it is protected. And when you unroll this, I'm going to let me move my light a little bit. Let's see. Oh, that's much better. Um, when you unroll this roll, unroll this roll. That sounded kind of funny. Um, I have a, a pumpkin that is actually a huge stamp that I used um, on shrink plastic, and I colored it with Copic markers, and then I attached it. Um, everything that is attached to this slice has been has been attached using E6000 glue. The next is a cabochon, a um, cameo to be exact, surrounded by wild orchid craft flowers and um, my signature shrink plastic butterfly that is nested on top of a piece of lace and a piece of, um, I think that is um, burlap. Okay, and there is another butterfly and an, a bottle cap that I altered. Behind the bottle cap is a scalloped um, square. Here is a larger butterfly. To give you some idea of how big this stamp really is, it's as big as my hand is that way. It, it reaches from my thumb to my forefinger, so it is, um, it is quite long. Uh, the, the little sound that you hear in the background is Isabella. She actually has um, a couple of baby baby toys and one of them plays music when you um, hit at it and when she paws at it it plays music and she has figured out how to do that by herself um, she's doing extremely well um, she sure is loved in this household um, her brother Snickers is still doing well with her there's another one of those large butterflies here is another transparency I'm not sure how well this is showing up. Let me pick it up. And uh, this is um, attached to um, another piece of decorative paper with glossy accents to attach it as well as glossy accents over the top of it to seal it off. As you can see, more wild orchid craft flowers adorn th that piece. Here's one more of the large butterflies. And lastly, we have this big um, handmade pink flower that I put a wild orchid craft um, smaller carnation looking flower in the middle and one of my signature shrink plastic butterflies um, there's one more butterfly now this this um, particular flower was received in a swap a while back okay um, I also made this little purse I have not finished it yet I need to it needs a closure, so we're going to put a magnetic closure on there. It's cut from um, two layers of decorative paper and one layer of thin um, chipboard. And uh, so when that gets finished, I'll show you that. Now this is my big project for this week. It is finally finished. I'm very proud of it. Um, I love the way it came out. And this is a book for my um, stepdaughter to put the grandbabies um fall and Halloween pictures in. Um, I purposely made the binding look a little funky since um, it's supposed to be whimsical. This is the AccuCut Build an Album Pumpkin die and um, I used 
uh, paper from I think it's from the paper studio yeah I'm pretty sure it's the paper studio um, the flowers are recollection excuse me the um, leaves are recollection leaves and the flowers are wild orchid crafts it is um, embellished at the top with just some wire and a um, another shrink plastic butterfly and when you open the book over here is another 3D pumpkin um, you can actually take pictures behind here there is plenty of room this actually could act as a pocket right there um, on this side this is just a, um, a photo mat with a place for journaling um, I went a little wiggle eye crazy with this book you're gonna see them everywhere there's some on the little guy up here and of course on the journaling block there's more um, on this page is um, some more of this designer paper and um, the eyeballs in this case the wiggle eyes are over on this side and on this side this is a pocket that holds a, a few tags I'm, I haven't decided if I can put more tags in there or not um, and this little piece of uh, notebook paper actually flips up so you can have some journaling opportunities there here's some more wiggle eyes and they're down at the bottom of this journaling spot as well um, another attention to detail are the dewdrops on the bottom of the chevron the chevron is part of this die which I really like it's um, it adds a whole lot of interest and then over here on this page we have the um, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin cut out and um, I backed the mouth with some yellow paper put in some wiggle eyes adorn the top with the recollections leaves and I put a yellow circle that can be for journaling and or a small picture there this page um, offers a bigger photo mat for um, pictures of little Max and there's some more of those dewdrops in the eyeballs on the end that adorn this page I used the reverse of the chevron for the bottom it really kind of reminded me of grass and um, we know how little boys like grass at least mine did when they were little um, here are two extra large Google eyes um, adorning a photo mat with a journaling spot to the left the journaling spot could also hold a photo if um, she wants it over here is another um, mat for either a photo or journaling and here's a pumpkin I use the same pattern paper from the background for the middle of this and it is finished off with um, the recollections leaves and some more dewdrops um, the eyeballs on this page are in the centers of the flowers right there um, this page as well um, I left it loose so that you can tuck a picture up underneath here if you want to on this page is another pocket page there are um, four tags there that are just um, simple handmade hand cut cards um, she can put a photo here if she likes um, but with the eyeballs there I just think she'll probably just leave this plain um, this little guy has eyeballs and here's the eyeballs on the end for the wiggle eyes and uh, I really like the way it came out on this page we have a black and white theme going on for the um, journaling spot um, with big Google eyes at the bottom and a place for a small picture beside it. Now this is the very back page. Um, this has not been finished as of yet. I will be finishing it. Um, I'm not going to add a whole lot to it because I want this to be able to lay flat on the table without scratching anything. Um, so I did distress the pumpkin as you can see. Um, I used a Lindy's um, Stamp Gang powder. This one is Sunset Red and um, I watered it down quite a bit but it made a beautiful um, spray for this album um, I doubt that it's showing up very well right now on camera but it is indeed got some um, awesome sparkle to that so anyway I hope that uh, you guys have enjoyed this project if you are interested in buying an album similar to this Please inbox me or email me at missretta.gmail.com. 
That's Miss MS period R H E T T A at gmail dot com, and um, I will quote you a price. I can customize these um, as far as what colors and things you um, like. And my prices do include shipping, except for international shipping, which um, I will charge you exact cost at the time the item is shipped. So, like I said, if you have any questions, please um, don't hesitate to ask. All right, everybody, I think that that's it for tonight. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, start to your week and had a great weekend. Stamp happy. Please be kind to one another and be a blessing. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.
Midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without their souls or getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpsey shell. Stenches in the air, the funk of forty thousand years, and grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to quiver, for no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. <laughs>